Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards and today I'd like to talk about switches, specifically Franken switches. Now, some of you may not know, but if you've been in the hobby for any amount of time, there's a thing called Franken switching. Taking the top of a one, the spring of another, the stem of another, the mixing and matching different parts of switches that work together and create a brand new switch. Now, many of you will probably be familiar with the most popular tactile uh, Franken switch that's now sold by practically every co company, the Holy Panda. Now, I'm not gonna get into the whole history behind that because I've read a lot of conflicting information. Um, but needless to say, the Panda, although a lot of people consider it one of the better tactile switches, I personally, don't get me wrong, I like the Fecker Holy Panda. I don't like the Glorious Panda, um, and I'm not a fan of the Drops Panda either. But if I'm going to pick a tactile switch, personally for me it's the U4T. Uh, it's one of the first better tactile switches that I tested, and I've been pretty much Team Gazoo since. But on the linear side of things, one of the more popular Franken switches has been the black cherry pie. Now, there are a couple of different variations on how this is built, but primarily the recipe consists of a J-Wick or Duroc black switch for the bottom housing and the spring, a cherry hyperglide switch to use for the top, and an original kale cream to use the palm stem. A lot of people have built these switches. I personally bought all of these switches individually, intending to create BCPs, but I ended up using the switches because I was like, wow, this is gonna be a bit pricey. To put one of these together, you have to get the J-Wick Black, which the J-Wick runs about 25 cents. The Duroc Black is gonna run you over 50 cents, a switch. Um, the Cherry Hyperglide is going to run roughly 45 to 50 cents a switch. And the Kill Cream, I think the cheapest I've seen it right now is for 65 cents a switch. So round about roughly, you're going to pay anywhere from $1.35 to $1.50 um, per switch to make a single switch. And then you're going to have some leftover parts that, I mean, they make switches, but they're nothing to write home about. Now I did make myself a, um, a Franken switch and I did like it. But right about that time, KP Republic reached out to me and said, hey, we are selling BCPs. Would you be interested in testing them? I'm like, heck yeah. So they were kind enough to send me out their BCPs. Now, as far as I can tell, it's using a palm stem. I don't know if it's a cream, but it looks and feels very similar to it. It is definitely using a cherry top, and they say H1 bottom. Um, so I think that's the Duroc, but don't quote me on that. Um, it does use a 60 gram spring. Uh, it's roughly 20 uh, millimeters in length, and when comparing to the one I made, I it, it was hard for me to actually tell the difference. Now they do come factory lubricated, and they are, in my opinion, an exact copy. I, I think this is the one I made. I'm not 100% positive, as they've now been mixed up, uh, but they all feel very nice. It's a it's not a clacky. It tends to lean more towards the deeper side. It's not muted per se, but it has more of a deeper tone, so it's not as loud as some other switches. Um, but if you were to make your own, you're looking at let's say a buck fifty a switch, or you could go to KPR. See, I'd like these at ninety nine cents a switch. So. Big savings, one single switch, not going to have a lot of leftover parts that, you know, may or may not make good switches. It's really, 
uh, when creating Franken switches, it's a lot of times it's really what you know what you like, and obviously that it works. I mean, there are there are some some tops that won't fit with some bottoms. There are some tops that can uh, mess up the leaf spring. There's a lot of little different intricacies um, that are part of Franken switches. I've been making some of my own Franken switches. That I think that's a another rabbit hole and I've actually made quite a few one of my favorite being um, the holy waters so it's an aqua blue housing and, and spring with the stem of a halo clear I like the sound of it I like how it works I also like my polar pandas which is a the body and the spring of a fecker holy panda with the stem of a purple panda so it's but I've made probably several dozen Franken switches. Not everyone really is as good as I'd like it to be. And some of them, because of differences in the leaf spring and, and the stems, I mean, you can press them and everything, but as soon as you put them in the board, they don't actually actuate. So <laughs> those are not useful. So KP Republic was kind enough to send me out uh, these switches I've actually been testing in, in different boards. Um, I have found them to be very nice. They, like I said, I can't tell a difference between the one. Well, actually, I did end up making like three of them just to kind of figure them out, and I took them apart because I wanted to use the switches, uh, particularly the the um, the creams and the Jaywick blacks in a couple of builds. I still actually have the cherries that I haven't used, but when they sent me these out, I said. These, these are basically it. And from what I spent, I think I paid around roughly a buck 45, not taking taxes and shipping into consideration uh, if I would have made them myself. So I would have been saving 46 cents off the bat um, if I would have, well, if they had them when I had first ordered them. But again, like I said, I even though I had the switch parts, I couldn't bring myself to do it because I'm like, man, this is going to be a buck 50 a switch you know load up even just a 60 percent that's gonna it's gonna add up that's 90 dollars that's 90 dollars for a 60 percent just over i mean i can get some nice keyboards for that price anyway so i have been testing these out i like them i love that they're already uh, lubricated like i said they have it's a defined but not sharp or jarring uh, bottom out it's a nice tap almost like um marbles on glass kind of feel so today i just wanted to do a quick introduction to these in case you you've ever wanted to make a bcp but you were like wow buck 50 a piece at 99 cents a piece it's a lot more affordable i mean it's basically a third of the price off so if you ever wanted to try them, then there is an option to where you can get BCPs and not have to spend that much and not be left, you know, not have a whole bunch of switch parts left over because you just got the switch that you like. If you like linears, and I'm a tactile guy primarily, but there are some linears that I really like, and this is definitely one of them. So I went ahead and loaded up an entire batch of these into a black label uh, portico 68 and I'm um, loaded them up also with the Dami key snake chaser this is the, the keycap set also available from um, Dami key and KP Republic that they sent out for me which I did a review video on not too long ago so I loaded these up in this one as I think it's more of the medium ground and some keyboards it they sound a little bit different than they do in others so I wanted this one, or I chose this keyboard because I felt that it was a good middle ground to present what the switch sounds like. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a sound test of the KP Republic's BCP, or Black Cherry Pie Franken Switch, loaded into this Portico 68 Black Label with Dami Key Snake Chaser on top of it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any questions about these switches or any franken switches i know 
I've been slacking on Frank and Such Fridays, but I've been a little busier than usual. Um, still kind of cleaning up from a flood that I had a few weeks back, but everything's starting to come back, and hopefully I will get a chance to get back to doing my Frank and Switch series. I do enjoy making my own switches. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test of the BCPs. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Until the next transmission, keep calm and keyboard on. <laughs>